Hello there, welcome to day two. Today we're going to learn about different types of cameras. We're going to look into the camera specification. In a CCTV installation, it's very important that you choose the right camera so that you can get the maximum from cameras. That you first find out what are the user requirements. Then you can now go and select the right cameras. Choosing the right camera is sometimes can be a painful process. It's a very confused market. There are a lot of vendors retailers and sellers who now try to sell their cameras saying they are the best one to buy. However, there are a few things that you could do to find the right cameras for your customers. That's what we're going to discuss now. Number one, TVL or known as TV lines. The higher the TV lines you go for, the better the quality it gets. Now I've got two cameras here, camera 1, camera 2 or camera A, camera B. Now if you see this is camera 1 and this is camera 2 A and B now camera A is 420 TV lines whereas camera B is 600 TV lines and um, now let's see whether we see any difference now in camera A it's not that easy to read this uh, read whatever written on this bottle but whereas camera B you could clearly read it it says white boat spray now you can barely read this one so that's the difference that you're looking at if you connect a 420 TV line camera instead of a 600 TV line camera. Number two, whether it's an indoor or outdoor camera. If it's an outdoor camera, it should be properly IP rated camera. It can be IP66 or IP65. If it's an indoor camera, then you don't need to worry about IP. It can be a normal dome or bullet camera. Number three is the lens type. Whether you're going to go with a fixed lens or a very focal lens. Fixed lens where the lens cannot be changed. So once you buy the camera, you have to make sure you buy the right lens. Very focal lens gives you the flexibility to change the lens. For example, you might get a camera with 2.8 to 12 mm. In that case, it can be 2.8, 3.6 or 12 mm. I would recommend you to buy a very focal camera if it's possible. As far as the price is concerned, it doesn't make huge difference when you buy a very focal camera but it gives you greater flexibility. In choosing the lens you have to consider two things. First, the distance between the camera and the object and the height that you're installing the camera. Number four is the last level. When you're buying a camera you have to make sure you get the right lux level. For example, if you're installing a camera in a casino or a nightclub, most probably you're going to have less light. In that case, you've got to go with less lux level. Number five is infrared whether you need a camera with the infrared distance. Uh, what that means, um, the camera can see objects even in dark using infrared. When you buy cameras, in the specification, you'll find IR distance. And that tells us what distance it can cover by using the infrared LEDs. Number five is the shape of the camera. Now, it may not sound very important as uh, the, the previous thing that we discussed, uh, but it is quite important. Um, you could buy a bullet or dome camera with the same specification apart from they being bullet and dome. But if you install a dome camera, it's quite hard for someone to just walk in and spot blind spots. Uh, but if you install a bullet camera, if somebody, somebody can easily say, oh, this is where the camera is pointing. So if I go right underneath the camera, I won't be captured by the camera. So it makes a significant difference in terms of deterrence. Uh, people can easily instantly find um, where the camera is pointing and then they could just think of doing something wrong. But if it's a bullet camera, uh, if it's a dome camera, it's quite hard for them to sort of uh, point out and say this is where the camera is pointing. So you might think why, why someone manufacture a uh, bullet camera? You could just go with the dome camera if dome cameras are the best to install. Um, the theory behind dome and bullet camera is if you install a bullet camera you get better view because if you put a bullet camera on a wall you have better reach so that you could get a wide area covered 
if you put a dome camera you're going to cover half of the wall so it's not desirable if you are installing a camera outside it would rather be bullet over dome There are other things that you need to worry about uh, when you are to buy a CCTV camera. Things like what sensor they use, what brand, is it Sony, or is it Sharp or is it something else. Also if the camera is using a sensor one third, one fourth, one sixth, you need to know about this. 